Today, Thursday, July 11, 2024, marks 50 days until Halloween Horror Nights 33 begins here in Orlando. And why not celebrate with some brand new Halloween Horror Nights updates? We just got a brand new haunted house announcement for both Halloween Horror Nights Orlando and Hollywood. The next big IP coming to both events, and it's quite a scary one, as well as the coveted multi night frequent fear passes now available for Halloween Horror Nights Orlando. We have a lot to talk about, my friends, a lot of juicy details to break down, so I'm going to waste no more time and just hop right into some brand new Halloween Horror Nights updates. Now, of course, the spooky lipstick face demon in the room is that today, Thursday, July 11th, we got another haunted house announced for both Halloween Horror Nights Orlando and Hollywood, another IP at the event, and this haunted house is none other than... Insidious, the further. The house description reads, enter the further as demons try to ensnare you. The red faced demon will lure you into his lair. Key face will unlock your fears and more. Of course, it is customary we get a video teaser alongside the description for these IP houses. So I'm gonna roll the clip and we'll talk about it afterwards. Warning, unusual audio visual activity in your house. doing after haven't thought about it come on Jade you know we all want you to go plus what good is a cast part if you aren't gonna be there fine then I'll think about it <laughs> Alyssa you're up they need you for last looks that's me see you later Insidious, the further. Only at Universal Halloween Horror Nights, where horror lives. I've made it known that I've enjoyed all the trailers found through this HHN rollout for this year. And this one is no different. I really love how we get this suspenseful, dark, eerie look at this sort of backstage area before it is taken over by the demons of Insidious. Of course, this house is going to be based on the Insidious franchise, the whole franchise, actually. We've seen houses based on specific movies, both in Orlando and Hollywood. Orlando has seen one standalone Insidious house back in 2015, and Hollywood has seen quite a few over the years, with the last one being based on Insidious The Last Key, but this house is going to explore the entire Insidious franchise, and we're seeing that through some of the iconography found in this trailer. We of course see the metronome featured in the Insidious series, as well as the red door, which is going to play quite a role in this house, it played quite a role in the most recent Insidious film. And we also get quick little glimpses at some of the demons, we get a little bit of key face from Insidious The Last Key, and of course the red face demon, the lipstick face demon, the man with fire in his face whatever you want to call him, he appears at the very end of this trailer. So I love that this shows that this is kind of a culmination of all the demons we've seen throughout the Insidious series. A little bit of familiar, a little bit of new, a lot like what they're doing with Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. I never got to see Insidious at Halloween Horror Nights before, so this will be my first time encountering this property. But from what I've heard, this is one of the scariest houses that's ever been at Halloween Horror Nights, both in Orlando and Hollywood. So I'm sure this is shaping up to be one of, if not the scariest house, coming to HHN this year. 
Of course, with a new Haunted House announcement, we get some brand new merchandise. This shirt here is available in the Five and Diamond Universal Studios Florida, as well as the All Hallows Eve store in Islands of Adventure. I'm sure because this is a bi-coastal announcement, we'll also see this in Universal Studios Hollywood and online on the Universal Orlando website. Really like this design, maybe not as much as the Ghostbusters one, but definitely a really cool design, quite a bit different than the key art we've seen. They also have a candle for sale. I love that they're getting back in into the candle game, making candles based off of some of the Halloween Horror Nights houses. They're sometimes hit or miss, sometimes they smell good, sometimes they don't. Sometimes they smell so bad that they're kind of interesting, like the Exorcist one last year. So Insidious announced as our third IP for the event this year. Let me know in the comments below, what do you think of this announcement? Are you excited for Insidious coming back to Halloween Horror Nights? I wanna know all your thoughts in the comments below. Now, outside of the Insidious house announcement, of course, we got the release of multi-night free frequent fear passes for Halloween Horror Nights Orlando. This is something a lot of people have been wanting to see for months and months and months on end, and I'm happy to say that they are now available on the Universal Orlando website. For those who don't know, yes, you can buy a single night ticket to Halloween Horror Nights, but you can also buy a multi-night fear pass, which acts almost like a season pass to Halloween Horror Nights. There are four different tiers that range in price and availability when it comes to dates. Something important to know for all frequent fear passes is the need to confirm your first night visit. This is not for every night, this is just for the first night you plan on attending the event. So let's say you buy a Frequent Fear Pass and you're going opening night August 30th. You'd make that reservation for August 30th then call it a day. So yeah, that's just something important to know. Regardless of what Frequent Fear Pass you get, you're going to need to make that first reservation. But anyway, let's waste no more time. Let's hop into these tiers and these prices. The first tier we have here is the Rush of Fear Pass. This allows you entry to the first 18 nights of Halloween Horror Nights. A great option option for those who plan to exclusively visit the event in September, and this pass without express is going to cost you $179.99. The next tier is going to be the Frequent Fear Pass. With this, you get up to 30 nights of Halloween Horror Nights. This pass here is good for those who want to dip into October, but maybe don't want to commit to a higher priced pass like the Frequent Fear Plus or Ultimate, but still want those October nights to get that vibe. This does allow you access on Halloween. And without Express, it's going to cost $239.99. The next tier is my favorite tier. This is the Frequent Fear Plus Pass. This is going to give you access up to 40 nights of Halloween Horror Nights. This is good for those who want that Friday night access to Halloween Horror Nights, which is my personal favorite night to go. And this ticket without express is going to cost $289.99. But let's say you want the ultimate flexibility. You want to be able to go to every single night of Halloween Horror Nights this year. Well, then I'd recommend the last tier, the ultimate frequent fear pass. As mentioned before, this allows you every single night of Halloween Horror Nights, plus free self parking after 5 p.m. on HHN event nights. And without express, this ticket is going to cost $399.99 and even $400. Now I keep mentioning without express and you would be able to have an option where you can upgrade all of these passes with express. However, it seems as if those passes are sold out already. Yes, so I'm recording this a bit later than I did with the original video because I had to put this update in there for those looking at frequent fear passes. It's important to know that the frequent fear with express frequent fear plus with express and ultimate frequent fear with express are all currently unavailable. You can look on the website, they're not there. Universal has come out with their own statement about this saying they are currently sold out. The rush of fear with express is still available. That's going to run you $609.99. So that option is still there for you at this point as I'm recording this. But in just about 12 hours of these passes being available, three of the four different multi-night ticket tiers are sold out with Express. Express lines can be crazy. We saw this last year with Express lines being backed up almost as long as standby in some cases. So I understand the need to reduce capacity to manage those Express lines. However, it 
does suck that they are limiting the express add-ons to frequent fear passes so soon and so sudden. They didn't make any word of this being a limited capacity thing. Frequent fear passes have sold out in the past, but normally not until much later, actually when we get into the event itself. So for these passes to sell out so quick, not even a full day after they're released is quite insane to me. Very upsetting for those who've been saving for a long time to get these frequent fear passes especially at these prices, which I'm flashing on the screen right now. And again, this is not permanent. Maybe they do come back at some point. I'm not someone who adds Express on my frequent fear, so I'm not personally affected by this. All of the ticket options are available without Express, but I definitely say regardless if you're buying a frequent fear pass with Express or not to pick up that pass as soon as possible. We didn't expect these Express frequent fear passes to sell out so quick, so who knows if the other ones sell out too. So as soon as you can, pick up that frequent fear pass, regardless of what tier, regardless if it has Express on it. It might ease up some of that anxiety about going to the event this year. Now on top of the multi-night tickets, Universal also released the Scream Early ticket for this year's Horror Nights. This allows you to participate in Stay and Scream if you don't already have admission to Universal Studios Florida, like an annual pass or a day ticket. Allows you to get in the park from 3 to 5 p.m. and then at 5 p.m. you can get in a Stay and Scream area, get through some of those haunted houses before the general public behind the Universal gates enters the park. And this ticket is going to cost an even $55. And that's it when it comes to news updates for Halloween Horror Nights. Of course, Insidious announced today, Frequent Fear passes on sale today, Express passes with Frequent Fear sold out. What do you think about all these updates? Today has been a crazy day for Halloween Horror Nights news between the house announcements, stuff selling out, stuff being on sale. Let me know all your thoughts down in the comments below. What do you think about everything I've talked about in this video thus far? Are you excited for Insidious? What do you think about the Express Frequent Fear Passes selling out? Again, all thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to have a discussion about this. If you like this video and like videos about Halloween Horror Nights of the past, present, and future updates about this year's event as they come, be sure to let me know by leaving a like and subscribing to the channel it lets me know you like videos like this one and you want me to make more of them we are so close to 3,000 subscribers so i just want to thank y'all for all the support you've given throughout the almost what three years of me running this channel it's crazy we are under two months until the event and now that the summer stuff has fully come out the mega movie parade sensational it's time to really get into some hhn construction in the coming weeks but anyways i want to thank you all for watching this video i'll of course see you in the next one and until then, stay spooky and take care, everybody.